Hello Virgo, it's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. Thanks so much for joining me again. Uh, for those of you who are new, welcome. I usually start off with a love reading, which I am going to do here, but I'm going to do it freestyle. I'm not going to do any particular spread, so new thing and I'm trying. Um, and then followed by the love reading will be the finance and career reading. So for those of you not interested in love, stick around for the finance reading. Okay, we have the five of pen, sorry, five of wands in reverse and the ace of pentacles. Let's see. You guys uh, may be more, more open to not listening so much to what people around you are saying and just doing your own thing is what I'm kind of getting here. Oh. Okay, let's see. Six of pentacles, seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, uh, I'm getting here. You want to whatever it is that you're focusing on, that you're fo focusing your time and energy. You want to avoid conflict. Um, you want to maintain balance and harmony in your relationships. Yeah. Okay. So. Here's the thing, though, that I, I feel like you guys may hold back on taking certain actions uh, that you, you know, doing things that you're very passionate about for the sake of keeping the peace. Because I do get a lot of um, possible arguments that you are trying to avoid. And so, yeah, see, keeping the peace. King of Cups in reverse. Uh, you may, some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarius also, uh, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but not necessarily. I just feel here that uh, emotions have been uh, very raw lately or um, very difficult to contain your emotions, and you are just very much focused on uh, creating balance and peace in your life, avoiding any kind of drama at all costs, okay? Because you have enough to deal with. Uh, you may be avoiding communication with people altogether because you're dealing with some kind of sadness or grief or regrets from the past. Yeah, you see, so uh, I keep getting this uh, needing to be defensive or uh, to protect yourself from other people's attacks. And your way of dealing with that is to not take any action. Maybe you're just, you know, trying to stay under the radar. You don't want to be noticed. You don't want to be talked to because you just don't want to deal with people's opposition, criticism, anything like that. I feel like you're waiting for the right time to make a move, to do something new, something different, to go off in a whole new direction. Yeah, it's just you're thinking about it. You're researching something, researching your options. What is the best option for me at this time? But I'm getting that you are keeping this to yourself. So again, we have this repeated here. Not taking action because you want to avoid conflict or negativity from others. And you're also like trying to heal yourself from, from sadness. Uh, you've been very emotional. Some of you are going through uh, your mourning. Some of you could be mourning the death of someone um, or mourning the loss of, of something or someone. Could be your loss of a relationship. Um, yeah, you weren't ready to let go. So this is something that you 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 have to like mentally process, okay? Uh, come to terms with, in order to fully let it be what it is. Again, eight of swords in reverse and the tower. Yeah. So something really major happened to you. Um, that was very disruptive. It came out of the blue. You were not expecting this. And you 
you're having to, again, mentally process this so that you are able to move on. You have no choice. When the tower comes, we have no choice but to accept it. And so this is like that process of, okay, accepting that you just have to continue moving forward and not allow yourself to remain in that Five of Cups energy of, of regret and sorrow and, um, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, we have the Page of Swords. So again, there could have been some news that turned your whole life upside down. Nothing is the same, okay? Uh, life as you knew it changed. Um, this is also ideas. Maybe you're having ideas of how to further change your life. But it, it definitely, there is no denying here, there's major changes happening around you and they are affecting your relationships with others. In due time, okay, there will be healing and you will see the sun again. Things will be happy. Things will be, yes, you will get there. You will get there. You just, uh, I think you're just focusing on your inner peace right now. And you're taking a very slow approach to any major decisions, uh, especially involving relationships. So right now, you may be going through some very difficult times. Um and I feel here that uh, the, really the guidance that I'm, I'm sensing from this is just take your time. Don't make any rash decisions right now. Do exactly what I see you doing here. Just stay out of the drama. Allow things to just be and allow yourself to process whatever is going on around you because there's like some kind of storm going on around you. Very, very disruptive energy. And so you don't want to make the wrong decision. So take your time. Allow for time to heal. All Time will heal all wounds. Okay, let's see what messages we have for you from the notes from the universe on love and connection. Let's see, what are the messages for Virgo? April mid-month messages for Virgo with regards to love and connection. Messages from Virgo. All right. Oops. What would love do? Do you know why it's so easy for us in the unseen to quickly pinpoint your whereabouts? You leave behind footprints of love. Hmm. Dwell on what you love. Asking someone to change is like pruning a tree. Neither will ever be the same again. Scarier still is that you can't quite know in what new directions they'll grow. Most people are just trying to survive. Just remember, most people are so beguiled by your charm, awed by your confidence, and it's inspired by your choices, they simply forget to say thank you, please, and I love you like crazy. As often as they feel the urge, let's not be one of these people. So yeah, uh, I'm getting here I'm getting here that uh, there is no need for you to justify your actions. There is no need for you to explain yourself to the people who really you are close to, who really know you, who really love you. Why? Because you already have a history with them. They know what you're about and they know that uh, whatever it is that you are going to be pursuing, the changes that you are facing it's not to hurt them because again I, I get the sense that people around you are somehow in opposition or there or there there continues to be a conflict that you keep running away from and and it's probably the right way to go about things right now is to avoid conflict at all costs because most people are just trying to survive everybody is just trying to do the best that they can with these uh, chaotic um, situations that we're all faced with right now, especially you with that tower card, whatever happened in your life, whatever major shift took place, 
um, it's affecting all the people around you and affecting their behavior. And so it's best to just focus on yourself and maintaining your inner peace so that uh, you're not making rash decisions because you know allowing yourself to get all worked up about things and engage in conflict is only going to make you regret the things that you may say or may do so i think that the guidance is definitely for you to just focus on the positive things uh, focus on yourself your healing and your inner peace and try to understand that other people are you know, they may not be able to deal with things as well as maybe you are dealing with them right now. Okay, so let's move on to finance and career. Finance and career for Virgo. What are the messages? In the past, we have the high priest. Okay, the high priest in this deck is the hierophant in the reverse. So again, uh, total upheaval. Things were never the, never the same. Um, there was a, a loss of structure. Some of you could have lost a job in the past here. Presently, we have the King of Wands. and the page of pentacles okay i like the way that you're dealing with whatever happened here this upheaval this huge change, um, whatever made you feel not safe anymore, not secure, not in your comfort zone, uh, you are actually dealing with it in a very confident way, um, being open to whatever new opportunities are, are being presented. You're not choosing to see this as something negative. This is something that maybe has a, um, you know, filled you with excitement. We have the Eight of Swords. This is future energy. Is this Eight of Swords or Nine of Swords? This is Nine of Swords, okay. I really should have my glasses. No, this is Eight of Swords, okay. Eight of Swords, sorry about that. It's kind of hard to tell, especially when you're half blind. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nope. Future, future, we have Eight of Swords. Nine of Wands. And the Three of Wands, okay. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I'm seeing here, again, I, I feel like um, in the present here, let's start off with the past. In the past, like I said, there was a lot of upheaval, and I see that here with the Ten of Wands, the Three of Swords, but these two cards are coming up in the reverse. So whatever negative uh, thing happened, you're over it it's you're not seeing it as a negative anymore you're seeing this as a new opportunity that you're very excited about very passionate about now in the future i see you um anticipating like the results but i feel like this is going to take whatever it is that you're taking on this new opportunity it's going to take a lot of work okay um and i feel like they're, you're going to be filled with doubts Am I doing this right? Because this is all new to you. Being a good thing because it is all new and that's why you're so excited about it. However, because it's something new that you're doing, that you're embarking upon, that's where the doubt comes in. 
because it's, it's, it's outside of your comfort zone. Remember, the Hierophant in reverse. Whatever this new is, totally outside your comfort zone. And you're second guessing yourself, overanalyzing, um, uh, being a bit apprehensive about what the results are going to be. Are you going to be successful or are you going to fail? I don't feel like you're going to fail. Um, you know what? I, I haven't... I haven't clarified for any of the other, but for some reason I, I feel like I want to clarify for you because it's a bit too ambiguous for my taste. Okay, I don't like the way that came out. All right, let's see. Let me see why the Eight of Swords. Oh, Lord. Okay, Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you want to avoid disappointment. You don't want to disappoint others. You don't want to overpromise and underdeliver. And you don't want to be disappointed yourself. Let's see this Nine of Wands, Six of Wands in reverse. <laughs> yeah, you're very apprehensive about failure, about uh, you know what this is going to do to your reputation if you don't do a good job in whatever this new thing is. But what is coming toward you? The Three of Wands coming toward you. What can Virgo expect? High Priestess in reverse. Pisces energy. Clarity, truth, uh, knowledge, wisdom. So you're going to learn a lot is what I'm getting here. Ten of Wands in reverse, and it's going to be like a huge relief. That is what's coming toward you, a huge relief. That, you know what, everything that you were overthinking here, it's going to come out better than you expected. You're going to learn something new, and it's going to relieve all of these burdens, this pressure that you had put upon yourself, because this is all self-imposed. Eight of Swords is mental energy that is self-imposed, fears that are self-imposed, but it's all going to you know, be uh, released for you, so that is what you can expect. It, it is a positive outcome. That's what I wanted to confirm for you, and we have. So good luck to you, Virgo, on this new endeavor, whatever this is, new opportunity, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.